Hello, this is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you about the second part of this. The first part I talked about this hop on hop off bus and getting the app to the people so they can use it. Um, within the app there's a, the, the QR code, you can copy the link and put it into an email. But if you've got people being quite transient, it's kind of quite hard to get their emails to do that. So you want them to actually do the action. So in the first video that I actually talked about this, I talked about using an email with um, a keyword in the header and then the keyword that I actually had was ho ho five or something and if that was in the header then they get an automatic response from an email with details and the link for the app so that's one way of doing it but the, the, the people actually have to type in the email address and get it correct and then type in the, the keyword and in fact I'm thinking numbers might be better because that works in uh, most numerics apart from Arabic I suppose um, but um, because you want Roman numerables on those although ah, I'm getting distracted again. Another way that we can actually do it is by doing a text. So inside here, we can go into here and we're going to type in a text message and the text message is going to be ho, ho, five. And we're going to go, go. And we're going to send that off and you'll hear a little bong when it goes through onto my spare phone. So there, the other place has received it. Now, hopefully there'll be an automatic reply and there comes through the automatic reply now. So if we just go into the app and actually tag, attach on that, it says at the bottom, do you want to open the URL? Yes, please. Let's open the URL. And there we have the app. When he thinks about it. So we can get the app that that. Now I think this works better because you're just typing in a telephone number, which you'd be you doing normally in whatever language to actually send a, a text. And I think I would instead of actually having something like ho ho, I'd actually have a number like nine eight seven six five four or something, which would be easy to type. So if we actually just click on now to the um, uh, Chinese app and go into that, we can get the information that we want, and that'll go through. And um, the little glow on the left is the sort of the Bluetooth thing streaming between the two apps. And it's not the greatest thing I've come across. Um, and uh, because you'll see when it pops up there, which it should be doing. No, it's frozen now. Blast. Oh no, there it comes. So it seems to be quite laggy at the moment worn out with doing it all um, so it comes uh, through and hopefully we get the scroll up and the scroll down and within that you'll see there the Chinese is using Roman numerals so that's quite good now this is the app that I'm using and uh, I did see a video on YouTube for using it and uh, it is a it's lagging. Um, I'm getting a bit of lag between the two, uh, the, the screen streaming. Um, it'll come through shortly, one hopes. And this app lets you work on a keyword. So this is the one, the MSM, and uh, it'll pop up in a minute. And there it is. So it's MSM message service. I ended up having to do one. And you need uh, auto reply templates and the bottom one. So if you go into the auto reply templates, you can actually create your own auto reply templates in here. It In the other one, I actually have to go and clear the logout after it sent me one. So maybe it only allows you to send one to, to one telephone number. So you have to go and clean those out. Um, uh, there is a scheduling so you can schedule a time for these um, and if we come into the other one which is going to think about soon hopefully um, this one here you see I've got the HoHo5 -Ho triggered ready to go and I've got the same app on the other phone so that's why when I'm sending it there it's being triggered on the other one and come through so here we can um, go through and do those so that's the app that I'm using um, I hope that's been of interest to you. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, can you please give it a thumbs up? Thank you very much for watching.